uh, uh, tweets about what he's actually doing as opposed to a sort of, a, if you like, a corporate tweeting um, uh, system uh, that goes out of number 10. If you like, a corporate tweeting um, uh, system uh, that goes out of number 10. Um, now, you're going to give the opening speech, which is always traditionally something of a rallying call, and your party probably needs that at the moment, wouldn't you say? Well, look, it's, it, no one pretending being in government is easy. It's midterm. Um, but as I say, the world, and particularly the European economy, is very tough. I'll be saying to the activists here, and indeed to anyone who cares to tune in, that actually we are working on the serious issues of getting the deficit down, getting this country back on track, healing the economy. For example, we've now paid down a quarter of the uh, structural deficit uh, and actually looking after the cost of living issues. And we should always thank our country's trusted diplomats, tireless aid workers, superb intelligence agencies, and of course, as we've already heard, brave armed forces. They help Britain walk tall in the world and do immense good for others. So let's show our appreciation for them as well. There was one big event when I was a CEO, which was the terrible accident at Texas City, which killed 15 people. And I think we learned from that day on what we had to do to understand how to avoid small events that might lead to very big consequences. What today they call black swan events or thick tail risk, black swan events or thick tail risk. And that's where I was mostly focused. There were so many different things to look at, I think, or different ways of explaining Texas City. We could catalogue them, but it's not worthwhile. The f point is, I think, from that we learnt a tremendous amount. Yeah.